my name is Maud White and I am a paper cutting artist. I started cutting paper um, maybe five or six years ago. I've probably cut at least 150 birds and I like the three-dimensionality of cutting paper and the cutting specifically and why my work is so detailed is partly because I have OCD and it's, um, it's a healthy way for me to express that. Cutting specifically has given me a lot of comfort and um, healing in a way because it's, it allows me to function. Audubon has inspired me in, in ways that um, I don't know if I was necessarily conscious of, but a lot of my work has a slightly fantastic element or um, fairy tale element, and I, I think of his work in some ways as fairy tale esque. Some of the birds he saw at the time are gone. There's something bittersweet about that, and I like to think about that when I'm cutting, that um, whatever I'm creating, it needs to um, respect that creature or thing out in the world. I feel like I've always been aware of Audubon's work. Growing up, the prints were in my, my grandmother's house. My mother has always been a birder. She inspired me from an early age to look at all of her bird books. I find being in nature is um, a way to be close to something that I'm a very small part of. There are so many patterns, and that, that's what I like to find, and that's why I cut a lot of birds, is because there's so many beautiful patterns in nature. Paper's been allowing people to tell stories in so many different ways for you know, centuries, and cutting paper specifically has a certain magic because what starts out as this flat and in some ways lifeless piece of paper can just transform into something that becomes three-dimensional and that light can interact with and I find that so awe-inspiring. So I love being connected to something that's been you know around for so long. This ability to tell stories with paper. I like to think of my work as living in some form, that um, when it's done, it's not mine anymore. It's its own separate entity. I'm cutting this for Audubon magazine, and this is the Kestrel.